All right, small mouth. All right, Adventure Gang, we on. Yes, sir. First one. What's going on, Adventure Gang? As you can tell, it hot, but I don't know what's going on with the sun right now. But it's steamy. As soon as I stepped out of the car, I started sweating. And I don't know why I'm sweating so bad, but my name is Denzel Pratt, man. You're watching another episode of Mandor Explores. So today, I got a little fishing rod review for you guys. I got the little Shakespeare Agility series. It's a five foot rod. It came as a combo, so I paid $40 at Dunham's for um, the whole setup, man. I think it's a pretty cool little setup that I have right now. But I added a four pound test line on this rod. So hopefully any fish that I hook up on in this little creek, I'll be able to pull in, even if it's like a little five pound fish that I have. But I'm gonna set my drag loose enough so that I could actually get them in. I'm gonna keep you guys updated, man. And with that being said, I don't like to keep my intro super long because I like to get straight into the stuff that I'm doing. With that being said, my friends, do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? It's adventure time. I started out with a little river bug. It's a green pumpkin. Um, I Texas rigged it so I could bury the hook so that I wouldn't hook up at the bottom of this creek here. I'm gonna test it out, man, see what I get. So far, I look like the cast range is pretty decent on this thing. It's my first cast. I'm gonna let it drift in the current a little bit. Keep bouncing it off the floor. Seeing if I could hook up on something, man. Nothing. I'm gonna keep going now. I'm gonna keep y'all updated. Yeah, I think this cast range is amazing, y'all. But that has to do with the flexibility of the rod, also. And that could decrease the chances of hookup. So, I think that's a plus in regards to casting, but might be a con in regards to hooking up because you won't be able to feel the fish right away. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. Where y'all at? Nothing so far, y'all. All right, small mouth. All right, Adventure Gang, we on. Yes, sir. First one. Yeah, I like this rod. Pretty durable. Feels like a decent sized small mouth. Oh yeah, nice. This fish is powerful. Oh my God, this is a fun fight. Don't rub up on the rocks, buddy. Come back here. Nice. So the river bug actually worked, y'all. Tire him out a little bit more. Nice. Hook him right in the side of the mouth like I would like. That's exactly where I want to hook him. Oh yeah. It's a nice little creek smallmouth, y'all. Look at this guy. Woo! On the ultralight setup. There we go. Oh my gosh, y'all. That's a nice little smallmouth bass. Probably a pound. Decent. Nice dark color. That rod actually handled it pretty well. I'm gonna take a photo right quick and then release him back into uh, this area, man. Adventure Gang, this is a nice sized Eden fish, but because we are at Dump Tar Park, this is where um, Easton dumps into, so I don't wanna eat anything out of this water. It's probably toxic, man. Probably gonna kill you, but I'm gonna release this fish real quick for you guys. Hey y'all, let's see if we can get the next one. So I didn't get my feet wet for nothing at all. 
It's actually worth it. Just letting it drift in this current. Hopefully it butts against the nose of one of these little smallmouth bass, y'all. So far, so good. I really like this rod, man. It improves the action by a million. All right, let's see what we get out of your adventure game. Oh, he missed it. He missed it, y'all. Dang it. Spirit a hook back. He, he hit it, but he missed it. He missed the hook at least. He had just the bait. And that fish smacked me right here, y'all. See if we can get his friends in here. It's a nice little deep pool. Where this uh, other creek meets this one. So let's see what's in here. Oh yeah, adventure gang. I think this is a little small bass that I got on. It's tinier than the first one. But it's a bass regardless. Yeah. He took my bait. I hooked him in the eye. He swiped that it and got hooked in the eye. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh my goodness, look at that. I'm gonna try my best to help you out, man. Yo! I'm sorry, man. All right, I think I put him through enough trauma. Let me get him back in the water. Dang, he took my whole bait. I didn't even know what to say about that. I feel bad for his eye. Strike King, river bug, pumpkin seed bait, y'all. It's also scented, so I think that's what's increasing my chances. I've been here for about 30 minutes and I've already gotten three, three attempts and two hookups. So I'm gonna Texas rig this and bury the hook and continue on what I was doing. Catching fish, y'all. There the hook right there. There you go. Let's get it. So far, I feel like this rod is doing pretty decent. Uh, the five bearing system is working really well in this little rod, man. To be honest, I'm not, I'm not disappointed yet. <laughs> now, if it breaks on me, it's pretty durable for an ultra lightweight rod. I caught a one pound fish already on it. So let's see what else we could get out of here. Don't die, don't die. <laughs> oh, wait. I almost killed myself. I need to stop jinxing myself, man. I'm talking about some don't die and almost killing myself. All right, let's see. I'm just letting it drift through this current, sitting on the bottom, hitting rocks, everything. Hopefully I can get something to come and attack this, man. Ooh, there's a little bass right here. Let's see if you take it. It's two. <laughs> look, look. Alright. But yeah, I'm getting here. A whole bunch of fish just ran for me. That's what I want to get to. Oh, never mind. Look like I want to get to the bottom of this river, man. Oh, I had my drag set to lose, y'all. Oh, he's gone. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I thought he came off. I got two fish. What? I had two fish on, y'all. That was dope. Dang it. 
I land that one, man. I count that. It was out the water. Y'all gotta give me that one. I'm going right back there. Even though he took my tails off. Let's see. Man, that side looks so juicy, but this water is way deeper than you think. <laughs> you don't want to step in here. And I think they just started generating again, so the water level rised. I don't think I could get across this time. Maybe next time, y'all. I'm trying to get it as far as possible over there. Let's see if I can get anything sleeping over here. Now this is the definition of under a bridge. <laughs> I'm under two. Uh, see if we guess I'm under here though. Woo! Jimmy on a beat boy. Early morning sunshine on me. Thank God for life. Such a Alright events again. I'm out of here, man. Real bush man. <laughs> I'm walking through your barefooted. The Bushman from the Bahamas, you see? The Bushman, that's how we used to do it on the island. I ain't changed. Ain't nothing changed. Let me get one more cast. Let me get one more cast. Ooh, nice, perfect, beautiful. Nothing you see. Alright, y'all, we can link on the next one. Alright, buddy, so I feel like that was a pretty decent uh rod review. I ain't gonna lie. But I don't have no complaints from it. Everything else that I thought would be a issue wasn't really an issue. Like I thought because the rod was so flexible that I would miss the initial bite from the fish, but I didn't really have a problem with that, so I feel like the hookup ratio was still pretty decent um, in regards to like the amount of fish that attacked and the amount of hookups I got. I actually hooked up on all the fish except for the two that I saw one come at it and I pulled it too fast, so he only um, bit the bottom side of the bait and he missed the hook. And then the second one he got off like right as soon as I was pulling him out the water. So if you want to count that as a, a catch, I mean, so be it, but. I thought I had two fish on, which I still do think I had two fish on at that one time. And I was just like paying more attention to that while they were in the water than actually trying to get them out. But uh, other than that, man, uh, Shakespeare Agility Series Rod, commend you, man. I feel I feel really happy that I purchased that for $40 and you could actually buy a lot, a lot more expensive rods than that and like not get satisfied. So I feel like I got what i paid for man and i'm gonna use that rod a lot doing creek fishing and stuff like that so you're gonna see uh my money's worth out of that rod man so i want to thank you guys for tuning in i don't have much more to say about that rod if you have anything to add put it in the comments let me know if you actually like this video man hit the thumbs up and let me know so i'll hit y'all in the next one you know what i mean <laughs>